Okay, we're going to cover the debugger. Okay, I'm going to hit, here's a program to count to end. I'm going to hit F5 so it runs. Now, um, if I say unassemble function CNT, it's sitting in memory, okay? Um, and I'll, if you want, you can um, specify address CNT. Let's say CNT plus 18, 0x18. So the UF function takes a string, a string which is the symbol table function u by itself takes an address, an integer, and we say the address of count plus 18. Okay, so the debug command is dbg, and um, you can you can place the debug command in your program when you when you have fatal errors, or not actually not even even ones that aren't fatal. Let's say I don't know. You can you can pass it a string if you want to. Now notice it says fatal. Um, look for that string that, that the string that en when entering the debugger, whenever it crashes, it, it might tell you something important. The stack trace is the most important thing the debugger provides. Um, so um, we can set a breakpoint. Let's unassemble, unassemble, address count. Now let's set a breakpoint on uh, on the call to print. How about just before the call to print? Um, count plus 18. Breakpoint address count plus 0x18. Oh, I, I spelled it wrong. Breakpoint address count. Don't touch the mouse, by the way. This is the same command line as normal. It's just one task and interrupts have been turned off so it pulls the keyboard so that there's no side effects. Now the tricky part is uh, figuring out what this is the same task however its registers are stored in the uh, task record so um, you have to be careful not to corrupt the registers. Um, it's all very confusing. I don't use this debugger to be quite honest. Okay now we say count Count, count to 10. Now it hit a breakpoint. Breakpoint, fault 3, breakpoint. You see where it says that? Okay, so um, if we hit go, now we can, um, let's exit out of here. Let's, let's go ahead and run. Let's do help. To, um, to remove the breakpoints, you hit B2. Then you hit go. I don't. I don't know what this is gonna do. Okay, now we're back to the debugger. Uh, this is very dangerous. Anyway, now, now what do we do? How do we get out? Okay, I think we're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna kill this task. Oh, it cracked. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to hit reset. Okay. It's all very confusing. But you can see how it, if you, it'll confuse you too. If you can figure it out, you're welcome to use it. Anyway, the, al the alternative way is to do it in here. Unassemble count. Then we set a breakpoint here. Address. Address count plus 18. Now we can say count here. Now we're at the break point. Now the trick, it, notice RSI is 1. Okay, if, if we hit go, the break point has to be removed. So you have to, the, what you do is you single step or you remove it. Single step. We just stepped over the break point. Now go. Okay, now RSI is 2 in the upper corner single step go now RSI is 3 in the upper corner now if we say go to this will remove the breakpoint and go now we're back to here okay now we're safe okay so um, the other thing to the other uh, let's go to the debugger I'm just going to dive in directly um, 
so um, you, there's some tricks in here. Um, you can edit the current RIP. This is, this goes to the source code for this for the current RIP. And we are in the this is in the debug. Um, this is the debug. Okay, that's the actual code. I'm I'm kind of um, surprised. Anyway, that's the actual code. I'm gonna shift escape. I don't. Now um, let's uh, we're in debug. Let's exit debug. Exit. This exits the task. Actually, this kills the task. To exit the debugger you, and keep the task, I think we want G2. Okay, that keeps the task. If I if I would have said exit, it would have um, killed the the task. Now the problem with the debugger is um, it only works for uh, well. Just to give you an idea of how hopeless it is, let's look at one of the games. Here's here's a game that I I want to show off. Okay, this um, launches arrows. It, they, they go faster if you pull back farther. If you do it just a little bit. Okay, so this has a uh, draw it. This is the core of most of user programs. Most one of the biggest things in a user program is going to in a typical user program is going to be their draw routine. This is where it renders the graphics. So, uh, what do you think is going to happen if we put a breakpoint into the draw? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, don't do that. Okay, it's going to crash for sure. Okay, so, now the trick is keeping track of which task is the command line and all that stuff. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and include... From the command line, I'm going to include zing. Now I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to unassemble function zing. Okay, now how about I unassemble function draw? Draw it. Okay, so here's the draw it routine. So how about how about right here, bow drawn? How about there? So what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> this remember this is a callback, and it's called by the window manager. So if we put a, a breakpoint in the callback, we are in the window manager. Well, I guess we can. We can, let's say you were curious what X was. So um, maybe X is. Uh, Okay, let's do. I, have to, I ran out of. Uh, let's go doc max. That makes my command line buffer infinite. Then I say unassemble function. Draw it. I just want to. Uh, I just want to uh, see what the register variable is. Okay, here's the register variables. So X is not a register. Wow, there's not a lot of register variables there. Why didn't it use more register variables? I don't know. I'll have to investigate that. Anyway, um, it's really weird. Probably a good reason. Okay, so, oh, they're floats. They're floats. Is it, are they floats? Yeah, they're floats. Okay, that's why. Ah, I was worried. Okay, so, um, oh well. So we're going to set a breakpoint. Uh, long story short, it's going to crash and you're not going to know what's going on. But, uh, right. Let's go to Bodron. Maybe we can see when. Maybe we can see the value of bow drawn. Okay. Okay, so test, there's a test FF that's testing the Boolean bow drawn. 7 2 C. Okay, 
So we say breakpoint. Well, it's going to immediately crash. The, no, it's not. Breakpoint. Address draw it plus 0x72c. Now, if I say zing, it's going to start up the application and install the callback. And then when it comes to, to it's going to crash in the window manager. What? It didn't crash. How did I start it up? Let's see. Breakpoint. Wow, well, this is weird. Oh, you know what it is? Um, <laughs> it's even stranger than I thought. Okay, in the... Uh, I literally have never done this. <laughs> Um, in the scheduler, when the task is, when the co task context is saved or restored, that it's it installs, or it inserts or removes the breakpoints. So the breakpoints are only for one task. So what happened is, um, it was the window manager and the breakpoint had been removed. So just change the kernel. <laughs> Why not just change the kernel? You know, you can do crazy stuff like that if you if you know what you're doing. You can just tell it not to remove the breakpoints. Comment out this code. Re Want to see how fast I can do it? Well, let's just prove it. I feel like proving it. I feel like proving it. Save context. Okay, on uh, when we save the context, we don't want to remove them. Okay, so here we are. Breakpoint list. Okay. Star. Okay, jump. Breakpoint is ten. Okay, I have a. Uh, okay, let's just recompile it. Bam. Bam. Now we're up and running. Oh, we got. Um, I, that's when I'm not kidding. It's multi-core related. The multi-core cores don't shut down and start up properly during boot. Okay. So let's go to Zing. What was it? Seven two seven two eight. Okay. Exit. Unassemble function. Unassemble. Address. Draw. Get plus zero x. Set set seven two eight. Let's see. Unassemble. Okay. Seven two c. Okay. So breakpoint. Um. Address, draw it plus zero x seven two c. Okay. Now I say zing. Those. There, I didn't lie to you, did I? So we changed the kernel. <laughs> okay. Um, you know there, you can do ridiculous stuff like that. Now I can remove it. Want to see? Let's see if we can get up running, up and running again. So G2 removes breakpoints and goes. Oh, we didn't get up and running. I think we're definitely in trouble now. It didn't remove. Oh, it's the wrong task. Now, oh, that's tricky. <laughs> okay. Um, do you understand what happened? Um, the uh, this is not the window manager's breakpoints. Okay, so um, uh, so we could, if we knew what that value was supposed to be, well, how about we change it to a no op? Oh, let's do that. Okay, unassemble underscore RIP. Okay, so test. Now I'm going to do something I have never done. Okay, there's, oh, there's test. Where's the breakpoint? Oh, it's the prefix for. Uh, it needs to be a 48. Okay, I was going to get really clever. I was going to show you how to do the assembler. Um, you want to, you want to, how about we just, uh, how about we just, uh, okay, I can set the value of that. Star, um, I'm, I'm going to, I don't know how many parentheses. 7F D A O D. Five four. Let's see. 
star 0x7f ba od 54 we're going to type cast it to a u8 pointer and say equal 0x48 that's okay now unassemble unassemble underscore oh, I could have said RIP RIP okay so I no I changed it to a crazy instruction it's not a breakpoint though <laughs> I don't know well I don't know what that's going to do I don't think it'll hurt anything go to oh well it was a valiant effort okay enough fun I can show you how to assemble stuff um, oh I'm tired <laughs>